Hi and welcome back to the channel everybody and welcome to Saint-Tropez, a rather nice sunny Saint-Tropez as you can see behind me. Um, it's the 27th of December and uh, I just thought I'd make this very short quick video um, about where I've parked and uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, by the way, I'm recording this on my phone so I've got no way of editing this or, uh, or doing anything to it so it's going to be raw just as it comes so uh, if there's traffic noise and wind noise and all that jazz and I make a complete cock of it well, that's just the way it is unfortunately um, but parking in Saint-Tropez, uh, anyone that's been here you'll know is a right pain in the whatnots and uh, last night we went and uh, had a look at the uh, two or three uh, options on park for night and uh, they were uh, they were okay. They were they were doable, uh, but then as we were driving back past the port, um, I did notice uh, there was an awful lot of camper vans in the car park, and I thought, oh, that's interesting. And I found out how one goes about that. So let me just flick this uh, this camera around, and uh, I'll uh, I'll show you uh, what I did and uh, how you can get into the main car park. So let me just press this. Okay, so I'm just going to walk out uh, here to the uh, to the main road. Like I say, not a lot of editing to this, I'm afraid, but we get what we get. So this is the uh, the main road right along the uh, the, the front in uh, in Saint Tropez, and you're driving along here, and you think to yourself, "Wow, where can I park? Where can I park?" Oh, look, someone's lucky over there, managed to get a space on the side of the road. But you come to the main entrance to the car park, which is here, and you see a couple of things. First of all, the uh, the main entrance here, look, 2.1 meters. Well, that's a complete cock for uh, big camper vans, isn't it? But if you look behind, look, there's a great big row of very big camper vans in the car park, and you think, how on earth do they get in there? Well, uh, we couldn't figure that out last night. Uh, so I went into the car park and tapped on the door of, of one of the camper vans and a very nice French couple uh, came out and showed me what to do. So just to the side of it here, we've got the bus lane, okay, painted bright yellow as you can see. And also just so you can get your bearings, the, uh, the what three words uh, for this precise location are salt, crown, touched. That's salt, crown, touched. That would get you exactly here so what you do is you drive into the bus lane uh oh incidentally up here look it says for subscribers and buses only so it all sounds very scary and you think oh i'm not supposed to go down there well this is what everyone's been doing you come down in the bus lane and you come down here to the uh bus uh vending machine and there's there's two options there's one at the top and one at the bottom very important one at the bottom but you don't press here what you do down under here there's an information button which is like a help a call button what you do is you press that and it will go beep 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 beep, beep for a little bit and then miraculously a ticket will appear out of there which is this one here so uh, we did that and the barrier opens and in you come and we parked uh, we parked over there right on the uh, waterfront there I am there look Harry uh, and oh there's my son Harry look, looking out at the water there we are just there and there's some other big uh, big camper vans by the side of me and uh, I was a bit worried that uh, we were gonna get charged the uh, the bus price because the bus price is considerably more expensive than the uh, than the normal car price as you can imagine oh incidentally look it's not very busy this this morning look is it it's about uh, 11 o'clock in the morning now and uh, not uh, not packed by any means uh, I'm presuming this probably only works in the uh, in the uh, low season or the off season I can't imagine this works in the middle of summer somehow but we go around here to the cash pay machine uh, in here here we go you have two different lots of prices on the on the wall here uh, I'll just hold there so you can pause that if you want the uh, current up-to-date prices so that's the prices for cars 
and then underneath we have the prices for buses. Now as you can see they are wholly different things altogether so I was a bit nervous but luckily I've come this morning and uh, let's just press for a bit of English. I'm going to shove my ticket in and it's asking me for 17 euros and 10 cents. Now let's just take my ticket out. So if I go up here and check uh, where we are on that. Uh, here we are, 17 euros and 10 cents is 14 and a half hours. And I came in at uh, about eight, uh, eight o'clock-ish last night. And it's now uh, 11 o'clock in the morning, so that's about right, isn't it? Um, so it has charged me the, uh, the car price. Uh, and as you can see from that list, uh, 24 hours will cost you 28 euros, 30 euros for parking right on the front in Saint-Tropez, right next to all the boats and things over there. I mean, that's not too bad at all, is it? Let's, let's face it. And uh, you can park overnight, you can sleep here, as all these camper vans have done. No one's had any issue with that whatsoever. No one's knocked on the door. So, winner, winner, chicken dinner, that one. So if you're visiting Saint-Tropez in the off-season or the low-season, that's how you get into the main car park, and that's what you do. Thanks for watching. See you again.